questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three featured different... <laughs> the second of these... I don't! I'll ask you a... My deciphering of... All gods don't have the same secret. I understand your concern. <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, lady. There are several indicators. This is not strange. You have never been as... <laughs> <laughs> well, since you know about... There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the eudic. Just trust in me. That's all I have to say. We do not... De oh! <laughs> <sighs> Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? I assume you've been outside- Oh! You know- She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Still, I do not understand. Everyone in her- We may have to creep. Oh? Normally, people will- But, Farina- We will need to consider this- <sighs> If at all possible, I This may be cruel to her, but- Hmm... <sighs> but who- Well, that's it. Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding here. Poisson was just involved. And here you are, drinking tea. That's what family should. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know? Care for- Ahem. <clears throat> Lend me your ears, everyone. Hmm. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you? Uh, me? Hmm. Then, how about you, G I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as- <laughs> Well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. That was a little long-winded. Oh, <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, to cut to- As for what that is, well, uh, let's start by saying that we'll be- Oh? Well, it's- <laughs> Huh? Did it? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a- I see. Uh <laughs> he is glad that you consider him your- In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience? Not that I recall. Fremenet and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. Uh, I- uh. I'm afraid not, though that was their name. Today, Font a trap comprises so. For me, a, our line of work re You use some of those techniques while moving- Yes, and I even- I'm afraid I can't claim that as my- <laughs> And I can be- With discretion, I'm sure. Hmm. I, I remember that- I did. Monsieur Nouvellette? I fear I do not have any related experience. Hmm. That makes sense. But I do have what if we were to create hmm. Hmm. Cut if we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes wait. Only a hunter who's a uh, huh. If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor is act but we shall require much more courage than any hunter. Oh, so that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own... 
Ah, just as for other things... I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, ultimately. Hmm. The voice. Walked in on some lively ba- Mona! Fine, just fine. Not all Fontaine- Uh, did- Why, yes! I I'm in full su- That's right! Ah, yes. About what we had to- Huh? Goodness gracious. Are you serious? She said that even the- The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. But I've never- Whoa. Their abilities alone. Well, it's not like Pine. Yes, she was quite. Perhaps it is some. Traveler. Pa oh, we're fine. I see. I guess you could consider me someone who has all. But even so, perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart. And to believe that what you are seeing, I did originally think. Huh. You do have a point. <laughs> there I. It was worth trying to comfort you. I suppose that might be. My mom feels kind of moved by what Mona said, but also kind of sad, too. Hey, Traveler, Paimon suddenly feels like going outside for a walk. Let's go! Let's walk around the city, shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. Cake, ah, someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? Wait, did I That's right. Do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily skit. Uh, then what if someone told But why would it? Well, Paimon doesn't know either, but... Oh, the prof? No, no, it's the... Huh. Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of cake to go? These two slices are for you. Oh, you know Sea Tree? I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me and she sometimes comes to the surface. She said that you... I've got something else to do. And there she goes. All right, let's dig in. I'm... It's more delicious than last time! Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. Oh! We're 
near the Seabird office. Let's go look for Charlotte and have a... She mentioned me? She said that you're... A <laughs> nice. Huh? Say, oh, of course it doesn't. Though, yeah. Uh, why not? Oh, and that... Oh, so that's a yes? Oh, splendid. Oh, so much to get... Wait, Charlotte. Paimon's still got a question for you. Hmm? And what's that? If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow, what would you do today? Huh. That's the prophecy. If you're serious, from what I've seen, so in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping it. Just think about it. If this Nate, and then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that. I'm not a dreamer, but anyway. That's so. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? <laughs> The sea breeze and scenery can be a pretty soothing combo, huh? Hmm... Paimon's been thinking... If it wasn't fun... No, uh, Paim... We've always been moving to the next... You mean... Still traveling? Huh... Like it'll grow, but it's still better. Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Oh, you're from the palace. Yes, I'm Isadora. <laughs> Not a yes, and a riot. Well, that set Lady Farina was watching a performance at the opera house and loudly accusing, and before she could respond, the crowd continued to. So, people have, I agree. So, what happened after seeing that the situation, the Marsha say, fan so. That's right. The, that said, I don't think there's much good. Don't worry. Ah, oh, is that s Well, sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson then. If we know fruit and as we all were nervous, it, was, it would be hard for Hyman thinks for. Huh. Well, what do you think? In that case, it. This place looks deserted. Guess all the survivors must have evacuated already. All that's left here are signs of devastation. Could Farina really be here? Let's try to find her as soon as possible. Ah, 
That's Farina, right over there. She really is here all on her own. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what was meant to happen did happen. I'm sorry. I am so... <sighs> Give up, Farina. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what can I even do? Uh, who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. Ahem. Farina. Uh, what? <laughs> they even... Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the marsh to say Phantom are... I... Hey, there she is! The Hydro Archon's over there! Quick, after her! against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Farina ah, just ran off! Quick, we have to get... Right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here! Quick, come to Paima before the rest of- Uh, wh what oh. Hurry, they're almost here! Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. Had. I've tried all, but oh my, we cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what, <laughs> give up. Indeed, I've thought about giving up so many times. This fate, but just now, it all, as long as the final mo don't worry, I. <sighs> well, <laughs> that's enough for now. Don't take any. Come on! Share my- That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. A witness. And if to that is in its entire- <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Ah, so this. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice. The may I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a. You, you would. 
draw your blade against a god? Ahem. <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your... Paimon can't believe it. She... Hmm. What the heck is going on? Wow. How utterly humiliating. Lady Farina, what is... Uh, shh! It would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. Looking for excuse... I raise my hands just now to indicate my... I will admit that. I'm sorry, every... You are not the... Oh. <sighs> but now, it I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! This time... I will protect you. Applaud and rejoice. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before... Mark my words. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. Woohoo! Making history. <sighs> Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole? Also, even though she's still acting. All right then. Who will be? The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Is that so? Very well. Also, please allow me to ask, as a final question before the trial begins, just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula. Since Navia, the president of the Spina... Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the Opera House as regular audience members waiting for the perfect opportunity to incite insurrection against you. The people's resentment against their- Moreover, according to our- So, we arranged- So, you- And their goal was to force you to- s That's right. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles, the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Its cargo, of course, was an arc. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an ex- Uh... Of course, this performance was only made possible with Father's support. The House of the Hearth spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. We had to select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. It was a lot of work for all of us. So, in other words... That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran. You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure also that as soon... Yes, that is correct. Well, Cloran, I must commend you for... Thank you. As for you, traveler, I suppose you'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the- Oh? <laughs> it's fine. The stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the very- Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you to- Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too! Hey- Oh, let Paimon see! <gasps> so in other words, we can refer to this and I'll- Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, alright? You defeated the Hydro Archon in the very first duel you took part in at the Opera House. That's one for the history books, all right. 
I didn't think that you this is the first of Fatui Harbinger. The fortress, according to I nearly lost my awesome friend, the words of someone as extraordinary as a witch. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. <laughs> oh, come on! Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution, of course, it is only n That's true. But my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who has never been the Archon in the first place. Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey. Charge accepted. Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. How? There is no way that I, Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine, could be... Yeah, even though Lady Farina can be rather ex... Yeah, I've never... I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever- See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has dis- If you wish to dr- huh. An argument with near impossible odds? Well, I tried. And if I- That idea. Was it the maze? A curse. But in light of this claim. Never it sensed it too, huh? Lady Farina. Well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just by looking at them. Well, don't start celebrating. Besides, for centuries, one need only to turn their eyes towards. when the Oratrice declared Child to be guilty without any proof? Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that but Didn't I make myself clear at the time? Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is... You will prove your... <laughs> I know... That was no trick. <laughs> so, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty instead of having... The real Hydro Archon. Well, now you're re- It is true that I did not know why the or- But the oratrice handed out that verdict. You can't- You can't argue that just because- <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. My power as an archon. There are many ordinary si- If that poses a concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Um, <laughs> you don't need to go that- I- Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power? Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! All Archon, thus did I give up. <laughs> Isn't that... I yeah, no matter how generous an Archon can be, how... It seems like nobody's buying Farina's ex... Hey, come now, everyone! I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved! <laughs> Shouldn't you, please? If what the prosecutor said is true, she will- Did she deceive all of us? And all of our parents and grandparents, too? And then all- Enough! That's enough! Tell me, then! If I- If you have no- Wow! She came up with yet another- Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to- Miss Navia, 
Please apply to serve as a temp- uh, Super Sark now. I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, a massive flood struck the area not long ago. Taking- including those of some of my- So, Miss Farina, would you- If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have- But, if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind- I do hope you'll act prudently. Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many- If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Would she really dare to try? <sighs> Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecutor. <laughs> well, of course he had to tell her that. But refusing to participate is basically... She's just staring at the water without saying a single word. What's going on? Is she really planning to... <sighs> Due to the inherent risk of the tap... <sighs> Miss Siegewin, if you're present, Miss Siegewin. Siegewin, don't be nervous. It'll just take a few se- mm -hmm. hm. That should be enough. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to pr Thank you, Miss Siegewin. Lady Farina, you may return to the defendant's stand. Oh, wait. What did she do? Well, can However, after extensive discussion, we exchange- We don't want anyone else to lose- Yeah! So out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head- It's a great thing- I- I can't- Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Think about it! Also, oh. Please! Everyone! Anyone! Just listen to me! I swear! I really am your art! I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. With all the things that have been said, Hyman doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway her to just be stacked against her now. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... Guilty. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. <sighs> well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No, the Oratrice also displays a guilty v Isn't that correct? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. 
the Hydro to be punished via... Uh, the... the... That's actually one of the available sentences? The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person... Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratress? We just want to deep... This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its... Is this sentence really appropriate for the... You know, the real evil mastermind behind the serial disappearances case! Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has net but now. The Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the... Um, excuse me, if I may interrupt. Is the trial still- Fremenay! Oh, you finally made it! Mm-hmm. Any mission for- Is... that the first prophecy slate? Huh. So the Nave privately arranged for Fremenay to try and find- I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. It took me- But has the trial already concluded? Then... Doesn't that mean I've come too late? Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. Please allow me to review the record. Hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. I would like you... I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already... Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real Hydro Archon we've been kind of talking about? In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this... However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they current... Okay, let's try to recall the con... The first stone slate describes what you just... Does that mean that... The second stone slate... This must be the point when the... The third slate shows the... Huh. Well, the fourth slate is the prop... We didn't believe that such a... We know from the cat that that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't the prophecy from the the fort if we perhaps what is it the truth and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia as recorded on the stone slates. Not a simp what the They'll dissolve into the primordial sea but won't cease to exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater. Converge! The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved! She was surrounded by the people of po The eruption of the Primordial Sea at the Fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prof- The Stone Slate's content can all be verified. Let's hear them. Incredible. We're... All Fontanians were the evidence for the... Oh, and according to... Indeed. Yeah, and it follows 
from the content of the fr that could also ex the Hydro Archon. And yet, after many hundreds of years. Yeah. Isn't so? Wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling in the end? Did Paimon get all that right? You've made some keen deductions. I'm up, however. Well, you were able to decode all the info when we were at the ruins. Now that the slate collection is complete. Hmm. What? I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. I will try to. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the hut in the Fontaine of old. The previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon, as one of the seven, did not possess the authority to create a new form, not one to give in. She eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriate... She poured primordial seawater into the... But if Fontanian... Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Principles to create a new human race. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history. So you... I... We were all Oceanids before we turned in... That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the... This really might be... Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slates risk a key point of the visual. They have not been... The nation of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro. You may also recall not... Therefore, that the people of Fontaine shall try the... Yes, it refers... I think I'm following now. In truth... What should we do? Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. If that's the case... Traveler, I would like to point out another small fact about the fourth slate. However... As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already in- This eruption was just a small warning of the things to come. We must- That doesn't- That doesn't- It was both dream- Culprit. That could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? The truth, the original sin, the trial, and the...
That's way too close! How did that thing just burst into the opera house? <gasps> Wait, was that the huge whale you saw in your dream? So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it has chosen to make an appeal. That whale does- It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. And once it has finished consuming all of the energy contained within the- You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to- Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food. We just barely managed to push it back, right? In the that is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that harbinger for buying us some time. Without him, the whale would have likely come onto land far sooner. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the creature for quite a long time. That battle maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that whale, but we d Anyway. It is too late. It had already absorbed too much of the Primordial Sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. That... that's... N We've already done everything we c We've come... S Indeed, that's not how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end. No matter what. So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? The prophecy... yes. Just as prophecies are... Ultimately, fate... I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Shock. You are not Farina. Who are you? Ah, the sweet sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know, the god. Fosalor? Why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving the Heavenly Principles. Deceiving the Heavenly Principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. 
Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the former Hydro Archon Egeria for the uninitiated. It hardly gets more disastrous than a preordained national catastrophe, now does it? She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation, the quotidian duties of the Hydro Archon, and not to mention the original sin of creating a new race of humans, I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this, any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. So you were also once one of the Oceanids, transformed into a human by Egeria's hand? Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human. And I still do, even now. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. The me you see before you now is that divinity, and the human counterpart I left behind I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? The Hydra Archon, alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. 
And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been 500 years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. you to come onto this stage. All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand you. There is no need to state your name. <laughs> I am the Dear audience, the performance is experiencing a technical difficulty, but worry not. The gorge shall resolve it soon enough. Let the world collide! The audience is still watching me, you know. Guards? Wait, where are the guards? Guards! Fourth, my play. Time to shine! Hey there! Fire! Well, <laughs> delves into death. Swift and merciful. From whence you came. Let my name echo in song. Farina. Farina. Huh? Uh, who's that? Uh, who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. I am before you. Wait a moment. You're... near me? How can this be? <laughs> Mirror you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. Let's go with that. Mirror me. W what do you wish to say? The prophecy. Have you heard of it? What prophecy? <sighs> Wait. I know. I think. I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. 
Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh, <laughs> very good. You know it well. What's going on? I can't seem to remember anything clearly. The only thing I know for sure is this prophecy. Will it really come to pass? <laughs> yes, it will. And that is why I've come to you. Disaster will come to Fontaine sooner or later. Things will develop just as the prophecy declared. There is no escaping it. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely to give people a chance to turn things around. It is the reason why you met me today. I will tell you how to save everyone, but you may have to suffer somewhat. Oh, oh, so there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was, why do I have to be the one to suffer? But if the prophecy will come true, I'll also die anyway, right? So if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, if there were scales, with all the people of Fontaine on one side, and my pain on the other. Is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? <laughs> you truly are the perfect human. My ideal. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Huh? Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. I need you to play a role. That of the new Archon. Play as... a god? That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. But should your identity be revealed, then all hope will be lost. But how will I do this? A human assuming the role of a god without being exposed? Don't worry. What you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god. You simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Being a human yourself, I'm sure you already know what such an entity would be like. Remember, your true challenge will not be pursuing divinity, but contending against humanity. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but I'll try. I'll try to do this. So, how long am I going to have to play this role? To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. But I promise you, all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial and everyone will be saved. A trial, huh? How exciting. I'll be looking forward to it.
What should I say? Ahem! I'm sure you've all heard about- In truth, as the god Fosalor, the god of justice, I shall do all within my power once again. This... I thought I- That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would- Hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her sick. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an or- If you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison. Wait, what's going right? Calm down, Farina. Assertive. <sighs> <laughs> People, only ones such as you are deserve. Now, I was wondering if some <laughs> you may consider my pre. Now then. Ah, uh, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were in such personality? It's quite shocking to be honest. But I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful! Our future may yet be bright after all. It seems I've turned them around. Best, my dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, keep we have heard it said that this nation sins. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me to play. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me to play. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want. The scales may law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that there is, so long as I- yes! Yes! Oh, Lady Farina, here are today's case reports, as well as- <sighs> Besides- Um, if- A mag- That's true, I- No need for fright, and do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now. Lady Farina- No need- <laughs> All right. Oh, he is. <laughs> uh, Lady Farina. I see. It's as I thought. Oh, man. Uh, really? I'm. <laughs> 